Hello friends, Jason here taking a look at silver. Uh, we're going to look at the monthly time frame. We're going to start our week with a fresh chart monthly. I'm not going to call this a bull flag because the, the distance of the what should be the flagpole is not really substantial. But we are looking at a tightening range on the monthly time frame, a slight downtrend and showing a little bit of consolidation. We weren't overbought, so we're just looking at a little bit of a, a counter trend really to what we've seen over the past few months, which is the establishment of a higher high, higher low pattern. So really bulls need the whole things together. Just hold the EMA 12 and look for more upside to see some continuation. So not as strong as the setup as we'd like to see on uh, as compared to gold, but the elements are still there. Uh, so far, no big red flags for the bulls on the monthly time frame. On the weekly, we can see that we had a weekly uptrend. We lost that trend. Now we are established uh, in a lower high, lower low pattern. Currently looking at a weekly bear flag. If we lose our EMA 12, EMA 26 on the weekly and knock out our most recent low, which is sitting at uh, 1664, I will consider that an execution of that bear flag. And then we have support at 1592 and then down here at 1489. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag. We've got a monthly potential bull setup, a weekly potential uh, bear setup, and again, this is Monday, so we've got a lot of we've got a lot of uh, of activity that can happen. Uh, but if we close right now on this candlestick, I would call that a bear flag. On the daily time frame, we can see that we are looking in a daily downtrend. So we're getting highs, and then we're getting new lows, and this is still an extended bear flag grinding our EMA5. For some reason, we haven't been able to break over top of this. And then we got resistance right there at uh, 1717 currently. So a little bit bearish here until bulls can give me something more substantial to bite my teeth into on the daily time frame. Uh, I'm going to be looking for more of a lower high, lower low situation. On the four hour time frame, this is where we're seeing that really that lack of movement. We had that bullish attempt. We set our high and now we're in a four hour downtrend. We got a new high over top of 17 psychological basically. And now we're trying to see if we can establish a higher low. So bulls need to come down, establish a higher low, continue this four hour uptrend, take out 1710. And then on the daily that will have us looking better and take us right into our EMA at 1717. So it's a little bit of um, one signal says this way, one time frame says another, and we need to find that clarity. And I think that will come as the uh, overall market decides if it's going to continue its rampage to the stars or see some daily consolidation. But not as strong as the setup as, as we see on gold. I'd like to see, uh, as I said, bulls get over EMA 12 on the daily time frame and break out of this uh, potential weekly bear flag that we see ourselves in right now.